having got over our shark phobia in Fakarava, it was time to leave the Turmotos and head for the Society Islands in Tahiti. We usually try to set off in a passage when the conditions are most favourable. But as we wanted time to swim with the sharks and be in Tahiti for Bastille Day, we had no choice but to set off in very light, drifting conditions. With the light winds, it's going to take us over two days to get to Tahiti. In the light winds, we always make good use of our cruising chute spinnaker. Although it's probably as old as Florence and blown out of shape, it really increases our sail area and helps to keep us moving in the light conditions. wind passage so far so it's probably going to take us an extra day to get there but it is so flat out here and so comfortable we've had anchorages with bigger waves than there are out here has completely died now but we're only a couple of miles away from the entrance in Papiti. This is the first time we've seen a city in about three months since we were in Panama but I can also see the island of Morea which is where we're heading in a couple of days time. It looks absolutely beautiful. Papiti port captain, Papiti port captain. This is sailing yacht Florence. Sailing yacht Florence, over. We are five minutes away from the port entrance. Over. Okay, sending your brother to port. Clear out, sir. You may proceed. Where are you going? Port captain, port captain. Port captain. It's a big event today. We're heading to the supermarket for the first time in two and a half months. We've been living off tinned vegetables, so I am very excited to get some fresh stuff. We haven't been anywhere this busy in months. That boat over there actually has a helicopter on board.
Looks like we're going to have an outrigger race right past Florence. This should be fun. They're off. This was part of Iiva Tahiti, a singing, dancing and sports festival where all of the Pacific Islands come to compete. So we headed ashore to see what else was going on. The sports here are those that are traditional in the islands. For some reason, Amy really enjoyed watching this one. The javelin throwing competition has been adapted for the modern day. The target on top of this pole is now a coconut instead of an enemy's head. Then came what we'd really been waiting for, the Coconut Tree Climbing World Championships. Then this guy proved not only to be good up a tree, but great with fire. We're now really looking forward to seeing more of this when we visit Samoa. As well as seeing the Bastille Day celebrations here, we've been able to use the facilities to fully stock Florence with food, fuel and water, ready for the next couple of months cruising. We'd really like to head to Morea now, but unfortunately the only thing that we don't have is wind. Right, well, it's half past 12, there's still no wind. I think we're going to have to motor at least halfway and get the sea breeze this afternoon to take the rest of the way. We're only going over there. Next time, we sail across to Morea to catch up with friends and swim with stingrays.